Tektronix 576 Curve Tracer is an industry standard for semiconductor device analysis. Its popularity is justified by its simplicity and durability, and explains why it was manufactured for over 20 years. Now, with an addition of a computer interface, Tektronix 576 becomes an even more useful lab tool, eliminating a need for a replacement with instruments costing $30,000 or more while having a questionable reliability record. Original Tektronix 576 can only display images in real time, meaning that as soon as you turn off the device, the image disappears and you cannot record it or you cannot store it for future analysis. Now with an addition of a computer interface, you will be able to store the images in the computer, email them, or print them on a printer and improve documentation, simplify training, and simplify device analysis. So what we will do now is we will turn on live display on the computer and we can see the same image on the computer screen as shown on the 576. Now if we press freeze button and then turn off the measurement image still remains on the computer. So we go back to measuring on the curve tracer, we unfreeze the image and then we display live image again. Now we're going to store the live image in a one of the program memories, it's called reference one. We store it in reference one, then we can turn off the image uh, from the 576 and we see the image stored in the reference memory and it says in the corner reference memory. Now if we want to compare the stored image with the live image of another device all we have to do is to go to another device and it will be displayed in real time on the computer screen plus you will see an image stored in reference one which belongs to a different device. If you want to, you can use position control to move the live image to a different spot on the screen. And so you can see more clearly now that there is a stored image and there is a live image on the screen. And if you want to, you can store the second live image in the next computer memory. Okay, you go live data, store in reference to. Okay, and now you have saved both devices in memory so if you turn off 576 you can still have them on screen and you can actually store this data on a disk or save it in a JPG format. Now let's say we want to compare a third device with the first two so all we need to do is to remove one of the devices, install the third device and turn on 576 and we can see that we're measuring a third device. Let's reposition it to a different spot on the screen. Okay, so we now have a third device on the on the screen. If we want to, we can do freeze and then turn off the measurement and here we have all three devices shown at once. So if we wanted to compare two similar devices, all we have to do is to position them so they overlap. Okay, make them overlap. And now you can see that two different devices are displayed at the same time and it's easy to do a comparison. This feature 
will allow you to easily compare multiple parts of the same part number to see if there are defects or variations in the parameters of the device. You will also be able to save measurements on a hard drive You can also recall data back into the program and compare it with the device presently being measured by the 576. Adding a computer interface to a Tektronix 576 curve tracer will turn it into a more effective tool for analysis of semiconductor devices and improve quality control by documenting your measurements.